Sam. Oh, what a vile mess. It's like she hasn't done laundry for weeks. Sam. Sam? What? Why are you under a pile of dirty laundry? There was too much laundry to do and I got overwhelmed. And so I decided to hide from all my problems like the garbage person I am. Garbage person? What are you talking about? Brad and I broke up and I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, yes, I heard. I'm so sorry. But wouldn't you feel better if you had clean clothes? <sighs> the thing is, my laundry machine is broken and it won't get fixed until next week. Then you'll have to go to a laundromat. What's a laundromat? A laundromat is a business with lots of washers and dryers and you pay money to clean your clothes there. That sounds like a lot of work. I'll just continue to burrow here like the diseased rat of sadness that I am. Oh no, I won't let you live like this. Come on. Put your clothes in the hamper. Let's go to the laundromat. <laughs> Welcome to Breathe English. Thank you for joining us today. We are going to be learning about doing laundry in English. And about depression. Well, mostly about laundry. Uh, we are on our way to the laundromat. If you haven't, like and subscribe to Breathe English and let's get into it. Here we are at the laundromat. Doing my laundry. You need to separate lights and darks. Lights and darks? I'll show you. So, we need to separate the lights and the darks. Brad was so good at this. And he made me coffee every day. And he walked the dog. And he knew exactly how to cut the crust Listen, off my sandwich. I don't need a laundry list of how great Brad was. Because I'll give you a laundry list of why he was not good enough for you. He was manipulative, controlling, he didn't like when you went out with your friends. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe too soon. Let's focus on the laundry. So, we want to separate lights and darks. And wash them separately. Yeah, now you're getting the hang of it. This one has a huge stain on it. From eating chocolate ice cream in bed. We'll just need some stain remover. Just spray the stain, rub it in, and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, so can I put in a load? Sure, wanna start with a load of white? Okay. They look a little dingy, don't they? A little. You wanna add some bleach? It'll make your whites whiter. Okay. Wait! This one says hand wash only. Hand wash? Yep, that means you cannot put it in the machine. You need to wash it in a bucket of water with detergent with your hands. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. <gasps> Wait! I knew it. This is dry clean only. What's dry clean? Well, you can't wash it in the regular washing machine with water. You'll have to take it to the dry cleaner. Oh, Brad was so good at organizing errands like that. He was so organized and he got everything done so efficiently. Enough, enough with Brad. He was a controlling psychopath. I just we miss, are through with him. I just miss him so much. I'm gonna go back to my laundry pile. Uh, 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 no, no, no. We're through with Brad. He wasn't good enough for you. I don't know why you're so hung up on him, honestly. You know what makes, makes me feel better? Teaching English. Why don't you explain to our viewers a little bit about how we use the word laundry? Okay. Do my laundry and wash my clothes mean the same thing. 
Laundry or clothes can be dirty, and then after you wash them, they're clean. Laundry is an uncountable noun, so we cannot make it plural. We cannot say, I'm going to do my laundries. Rather, we count it with loads of laundry. And if you're like me and you have a lot of laundry to do, you may do multiple loads of laundry in a certain day. I just put in a load of light laundry and now I'm going to put in a load of dark laundry. Did you put in some laundry detergent? No. I mean, you can't wash your clothes in just water, so you'll need some laundry detergent, okay. which is soap for your clothes. And you might want some fabric softener. What does that do? It makes your clothes a little bit softer. Okay. Choices, Erica. What? 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 There's too many choices. What do I press? Oh, okay. So here you want to choose the type of program or cycle you want, mm -hmm. and you also want to choose the temperature. So you can choose cold water, warm water, hot water. So this is your load of darks. So I usually wash darks on cold water. Okay. Okay. Very well. Extra dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Oh, finally. Um, do you want to dry them here in the dryer? Or take them home and dry them on the clothesline outside? Mm, let's go air dry. Okay. You know, I don't want to air my dirty laundry in public or anything, but you're right. Brad was not right for me. And, and I'll tell you why. First of all, Huh, yeah. Well, your laundry's dry. Time to hang it up or fold it and put it away. Yes. So I am going to fold my pants and underwear and I am going to hang up my shirts. <gasps> my God, this is so wrinkly. <gasps> Do you have an iron? Um, maybe? Is this an iron? That is an iron. Do you have an ironing board? Um, this guy? Perfect. Do you know how to use it? No. Brad, Brad always did, did the yeah. ironing. But I'm washing my hands of Brad. I'm an independent woman, and I'm gonna do my own ironing. That's right. Just plug it in, let it heat up, and iron those clothes. Yes. Smooth. Well, Sam, are you feeling better already? clean laundry. I really am. Thank you so much for your help, Erica. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us today on Breathe English. We hope you learned some new words, some fun idioms, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Careful. <laughs> okay.